Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? Welcome back to this week's market analysis, right? It's so good to have you once again, right? So in today's video, right, it will be quite special because it's a market that I don't usually cover, right? It's none other, other than Bitcoin, right? So why, why talk about Bitcoin right now, right? And the reason is simple, right? Bitcoin right now is pretty much in a mania. It's a crazy market right now. If you look at the chart, the candles are pretty much, you know, getting larger and larger and it's gone parabolic, okay? So I would say this is an important thing that I want to share is because, right, you never know, you know, if the markets you are trading would, you know, exhibit this type of characteristic one day, right? You, you just don't know. So I would say it's important to actually learn from this type of markets. So in future, like, let's say, for example, you are trading Forex, it exhibit the same type of characteristic. You know how to handle this type of markets. You know how to manage your risk. You know how to trade them confidently. And you know, you know, I would say uh, how to actually, you know, handle the trade much better. Okay, so all this, right, can be learned from other markets which have actually exhibit this type of characteristic. So Bitcoin is one of them, right? So this is what we'll be covering in today's video. Bitcoin, right? Whether you should be long, whether you should be short, what are the best levels to trade and how to trade them. So all this and more in today's video, I'll see you there. Okie dokie. So before I begin, right, with this week's market analysis, right, I have a, a few traders telling me that they can't seem to download my trading guides, right? So I want to, you know, firstly, you know, walk you through how to go about getting it, right, if you can't download them, right? So firstly, go down to my website, tradingwithrainer.com. This is me, right? Uh, and basically over here, you can see that I offer two trading guides, right? The ultimate guide to trend following and the ultimate guide to price action trading. Both of them are free, right? So I'm, I'm quite puzzled why traders say that they need to pay money for this, right? Because honestly, even if you want to pay me money for it, you can't because they are free, right? So for example, let's say I want the trend following guide. You just click this, enter your email address, and you click get started now. What happens is that you will be brought to a page, right? And this particular video would play. So this video basically tells you to go to your inbox and click the confirmation link I sent you, right? This is basically to prevent robots or bots to, you know, keep spamming, you know, people's email address. So this, I want to make sure that, you know, it's really coming from a real person, okay? So once you've done it, so once you've, you know, go down to your particular email address, you would see this email from me. Hi, confirm your email address and get your goods, right? So this is the blue link that you need to click right, to confirm that, hey, you're a real person. So once you click on it, you'll be brought to a page like this one, okay? So a couple of ways you can download this guide. Right-click, and then you click uh, Save Link As. That is one. Alternatively, you can click on this guide, open up the PDF, have a look at it, right? If you like it, right-click, Save As PDF. Right, don't worry, your credit card will not be charged just because you click this safe as button, right? Uh, it's free of charge, as I've said, right? So this is how you go about downloading this uh, PDF guide, right? So it is uh, not difficult, I would say. But still, if you have any issues with the download process, just drop me an email and I'll personally send them to you. How about that? Okay, so with that, right, let's go back to this week's market analysis. Okay, back to this week's market analysis. Uh, first and foremost, Bitcoin, let's talk about this, right? So firstly, I want to talk about, right, uh, why, you know, I, I would say, you know, uh, going long on Bitcoin and shorting Bitcoin can be, you know, two, diff two difficult things to do, right? It's not an easy market to trade, honestly, right? So let's talk about the long side. So, you know, I'm sure you, if you saw some, you know, statistics, right, traders saying that, you know, you know, if you were to go long Bitcoin when it was at this price over here, say, I think it's about, you know, uh, $3 was the, the, the one of the lows, right? And you hold it up to, you know, current market value, you would be a mil millionaire, right? Uh, sounds right in uh, reality. I mean, it sounds correct, right, that this could happen. But the reality of it is that are you able to stomach the drawdowns that come along with it, Right? So you can see that this was the high, somewhere about $1,100, $1,200. And then it slumped all the way to the lows of $200. So let's say you got long Bitcoin at $3, it goes up all the way to $1,200. And then it dropped all the way to $200. This is, I would say, you know, a drop of, you know, more than 
And honestly, are you able to stomach this kind of drawdown that comes with it? At this point in time, you'd probably be thinking, oh, okay, uh, you know, the rally is probably over, right? I better bail out and, you know, take whatever profits I have. And then who knows? The market continued going parabolic all the way up to, you know, 2006, 2007, $100, right? So this is why I say, you know, it's not easy, you know, even if you were to long Bitcoin to, and to write this entire move, right? If you ask me, the only way that you're able to write this is probably, you know, you bought Bitcoin and you forgot you bought it, right? And this is why you just hold it all the way. Otherwise, if you're just, you know, watching the markets, watching the price of Bitcoin, I would say it's, it's extremely difficult to write this entire move out, right? Uh, even if you're a trend follower, right, you trail your stop loss, you're going to get, your stop loss is going to get hit, definitely, right? No matter what type of trailing stop you use, all right? This from here to here is definitely even a, a more than a 10 ATR trailing stop, okay? So yeah, it's not an easy move to write on the long side. And then you might be thinking, okay, why not let's go on a short side, right? Bitcoin right now, you know, looks uh, overbought. Okay, if you look at this, right, a lot of traders will say, right, Raina, this is, you know, way overbought. Look at this, right? Bitcoin has to come down. Well, if you want to short, right, sure. But you have this problem. What is the problem? The problem is, where are you going to put your stop loss? Right, the, the thing about Bitcoin is right now, is that trading, I mean, at this point in time, it's trading at all-time highs. If you look left, there is nothing on the left. There is nothing here, nothing. There is no structure, there is no level that you can reference from to set a proper stop loss because it's trading at all-time highs. Okay, so it can be difficult to short as well because, you know, there is no logical place to put your stop loss. Where are you going to put? 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9? Those are pretty much arbitrary levels, right? And it's a it's a coin flip, right? There is really no structure that you can lean against. And on top of it, you're trading against this long-term trend, all right? So shorting Bitcoin is not, you know, easy as well because there is no place to set your stop loss, especially, you know, even though it looks overbought, right? But there is just no structure that you can lean on. So I'll, another way is, you know, some traders would say, right, okay, why not, you know, wait for pr price action or, you know, candlestick reversal before you, you go short. This is, at least this is, you know, I would say a more appropriate approach, right? At least, you know, you have a structure that you can lean against, possibly setting your stops above this high. At least now you have a structure that you can lean against. Right, but again, uh, is this easy to, an easy trade to take? Right, not really because you know even if you're short, you know ultimately you're trading against this trend, this long term trend. So any you know bullish price action that you know goes higher, it would probably scare you out of your shorts anyway. Right, so if you're short, right, I would suggest right to take profits quickly. Do not expect you know a big move all the way back down to let's say two hundred dollars. This is you know usually an unlikely scenario. What is usually happen is that you know it possibly will continue higher or consolidate for a long period of time. And then even if you are short, you have to sit through that, you know, long period of consolidation. So, you know, I would say, uh, you know, shorting is is difficult. And, and, you know, so is, you know, holding from $3 all the way up to $2,700, right? So if you are short, right, my suggestion is, you know, is to, I would say, be nimble, right? Don't 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 be greedy and you know hope for a, a entire uh, collapse of Bitcoin, right? I'm not saying it can't happen, but the odds of it occurring, you know, right, isn't really very huge. Okay, you don't really have like a ninety percent of it, you know, collapsing. Honestly, if, if we can all pre predict market tops and bottoms, right, we will all be you know really rich, right? So if you are short, my suggestion is to you know, to be to be nimble, right? Be quick in taking your profits, right, and you know don't be greedy, right? And for those of you who are, you know, let's say you're looking to long, where is a good level to go long? Okay, so let's, you know, let's first, you know, let's use some of our simple tool. Uh, a price is now clearly still above the 200 period moving average. So, you know, long term still bullish, right? Let's get out a, a few simple levels that we can draw. All right, horizontal. Okay, this is Ray. Uh, let's see, uh, horizontal line. All right, okay. So if you ask me, right, I'm seeing a few levels here, right, this one. Uh, this one as well, okay. So I'll say these are a few key levels that you know it's pretty obvious on the chart, and possibly this one as well. This is a little further back, right? Okay, you can see right this one. Uh, resistance, right? Came back, resistance broke out. Previous resistance turned support, then it continued trading higher. Pull back, continued trading higher. Slight pull back. Trading higher, retest. Ah oh, man, we have this uh, retest. Continue trading higher. Came back down, retest previous, the highest turn support, and right now we have this uh, uh, close higher. 
Okay, so these are say some of the key levels to pay attention to. So needless to say, yeah, if you want to go long, right, the first area to be looking at is you know this one over here and possibly even this one over here. Of course, price can you know, can just come straight into the middle and then continue trading higher. That is a possible as well. So this is a pretty large area, but still right, an area that you want to pay attention right for any long opportunity. Okay, so this is I would say a a couple of a few levels right to look at Bitcoin in in the case that you want to go long on it. All right, the second market that I want to talk about right for my Indian traders from India, uh, let's talk about the Nifty. Spelled wrongly. Nifty 50, right? So I believe this is the, the Indian stock market, right? So you can see that you know, bullish, right? Above the 200 period moving average, right? And it has basically, you know, just grinding higher over time. So needless to say, right? I would prefer to be long on this uh, Nifty, right? So how can you get long? So let's, you know, again, draw a few levels that are, you know, obvious on the charts. This over here, right? Uh, this one here. This one possibly, another one. Okay, so I'll say these are a few levels that, that are worth watching. Okay, and plus a, a moving average would be useful for this because the trend is quite strong. So if I get out the 20 period moving average, is this red line over here. So at this point, you can see that the Nifty, right, is pretty much uh, trading bullishly. I, I wouldn't really, you know, want to get long at this point in time, right, because it could just slightly, you know, come back, retrace, and then continue higher. Right, if you want to get long, right, you could, right, but your stop loss will be pretty large, right. Logically, it should get at least below this low over here. So, if you want to wait for a value, okay, you can wait for a retracement back towards this area over here, the 20 period moving average, right, somewhere here, right, and look for a long opportunity to get long, okay. So, this is where I believe you know, multiple time frame analysis could be useful because if you go down to the one hour time frame, all right, you can see the price action clearer right and this is where you can you know better time your entries towards the long side all right so uh it's too early to tell you know, what what the market can do but the big picture for the nifty is that i would say this level around around the 9400 area right would be a potential opportunity to go long on the nifty right so this is for traders who trade the nifty i hope i hope this helps okay so yep that's all i have for you in this week's market analysis pretty short and sharp covering a couple of exotic markets like bitcoin and the nifty right so if you've enjoyed this week's video right feel free to hit the like button below and the subscribe button and leave a comment if there's any questions that you want me to answer with that i wish you good luck and good trading and i'll talk to you soon